Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Pam Dobson, Mama Pam. Good evening, good evening. And we are doing a seven-minute read on the power, purpose and power of love and marriage. And today we are starting on chapter eight, friendship. The highest relationship. So get your books. Get ready. We're going to enter in. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And thank you for dropping by my little site. And visiting with us. To see what we are doing. This periscope. Is um, to. Enhance marriages. This periscope is all about marriages. God has given me a mandate to. Pray for and intercede on behalf of marriages everywhere as marriages are falling to pieces, uh, divorces are happening, and that's not the way, that's not God's purpose and plan for marriages. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, you gave us a mandate to read seven minutes every day between the hours of noon and one. Saturdays and Sundays are a little bit challenging, but I'm trying to stay steadfast to what you have given me to do. And so it's over in the evening, it's almost 8 o'clock, but Lord, I am trying to do what you would have me to do. And someone out there in Periscope land may be just needing this word on this day on how to become a friend, what friendship is all about in a marriage. Lord, we all want our husbands, our wives to be our best friends. So Lord, we thank you that you dropped and deposited in our beloved late Um, Dr. Miles Monroe, you dropped in him all the different tools and kingdom principles and how to solidify and keep these marriages together as an institution, teaching us how marriage is an institution and teaching us how kingdom marriage should look and what it should look like. So Lord, we do thank you for these tools. We thank you for this information. Give us ears to receive what we hear and then not only receive it, but apply it to our lives and to our marriages. And I promise, I see, I know that they will be better because of it. We give you glory, honor, and praise. And we call it all done in thy precious son, Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, so we are reading. We are on chapter 8. Um, friendship, the highest relationship of all. We have the timer over here. I pretty much know um, seven minutes is about a page, about two pages, two and a half pages, but we're going to set the timer. It's over in the evening. Praise God. So here we go. The husband-wife relationship is the oldest and most prominent of human relationships. It predates and goes ahead of any other relationship, including parent-child, mother-daughter, father-son, and sister-brother. No relationship should be closer, more personal, or more intimate than that which exists between a husband and wife. Such intimacy involves not only love, but also knowledge. A husband and wife should know each other better than they know anyone else in the world. They should know each other's likes and dislikes, their quirks and pet peeves, their strengths and their weaknesses, their good and their bad qualities, their gifts and their talents, their prejudices and their blind spots, their graces and their character flaws. In short, a husband and wife should know everything about each other, even those undesirable traits that they hide from everyone else. This kind of knowledge is not automatic. It does not happen simply because two people get married. Relationship does not guarantee knowledge. One of the greatest problems in marriage or any other human relationship involves the labels we use. Words like husband and wife, mother and daughter, sister and brother, or father and son describe various relationship connections within a family. They also imply a knowledge or intimacy that may or may not exist. For example, a mother and daughter may assume they really know each other simply because their labels imply a close relationship. Certainly a mother knows her daughter and a daughter her mother. This is not necessarily so. The same thing could be said of other relational Uh, connections. 
If I call you my brother or my sister, I am implying that I already know you. I assume that because we are related, there is no need for us to spend time together getting to know each other. Labels that imply closeness and intimate knowledge may in reality hinder true relationship building. A husband and a wife may assume that they know each other simply because they're married. As a result, they may do nothing more than scratch the surface, never plump plumbing the depths of each other's personalities to gain true knowledge and build a deep and intimate relationship. Marriage is a life long journey into intimacy, but also into friendship. A husband and a wife should be each other's best friend. There is no higher relationship. After all, who knows us better than our friends? Most of us will share with our friends things about ourselves that we never even tell our own families. Husbands and wives should have no secrets from each other. As their relationship develops, they should grow into true friends who know everything there is to know about each other, good and bad, and yet who love and accept each other anyway. Praise God. No longer servants, but friends. From the biblical standpoint, the highest relationship of all is that of friend. No greater testimony could be given to the life of a biblical personality than to say that he or she was a friend of God. Abraham fit that description. Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend, James 2 and 23. Moses was another uh, who knew God as a friend. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks with his friend. Ezekiel 31.11 David, the second king of Israel, as known, was known as a man after God's own heart. 1 Samuel 13.14 This is another way of saying that David was God's friend. Jesus made clear in his teaching the exalted place of friendship. In the 15th chapter of Gospel of John, after telling his followers that their intimacy with him was like that of branches to the vine, Jesus linked that intimacy to friendship. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. And that's John fifteen twelve and 15. And we've got about another minute and a half uh, to go. Okay, I think we'll stop right there. We'll stop on the page of, on the top of page 99. With a minute to go. Okay, so we're going to stop on page 99 and we will resume tomorrow. Tomorrow, prayerfully noonish. It may not be noon. Um, I have volunteered to um, go to the hospital and check on my first lady at my church's uh, mother. We found out today in service that she was in the hospital. Um, and so me and my husband, after I picked him up from work, we went directly to the hospital and we were able to sit with her and, and minister to her and talk with her and to her and laugh and have a good old time, um, in fellowshipping with our mother there at the hospital. So tomorrow I have volunteered to go and sit with her for a couple of hours tomorrow to give the first lady a break. So if I'm not here at noon again tomorrow, that will be why, um, I'll be trying, but if not, I will do it. Praise God. Okay, so again, we are fighting for the marriages in the body of Christ. Seven minute read. Listen to this on your break, on your lunch, uh, before you go to bed, when you get up in the morning, whenever the Lord leads you to replay. I'm putting them on YouTube now. So go to YouTube, Pamela Dobson, and you can get the replays. I put a whole bunch of them up there um, of the different segments and sessions and, and the pages. And if you have a book, uh, then you can read, look go on your book and see what you need. Go up there to YouTube and I'll read it for you. How about that? You can't ask for no more than that. If the Lord leads you to be a blessing to Pam, you can be a blessing to me at pa PayPal, 
pamela.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. That's capital P-A-Y, capital P-A-L dot capital M, lowercase e, forward slash Pamela Dobson. And or you can go to pampoet23 at gmail.com, pampoet23 at gmail.com. If you want to drop me a line, if you want to ask me some questions pertaining to marriage, it's not too many things that anyone has uh, experienced in a marriage that I have not you name it, and I've pretty much probably experienced it. I'm an expert in the arena of marriage. Have had a few. Had people die. Had all had people get kicked out, divorced, reconciled, twenty years separation, reconciled. So I, I've I've pretty much seen it all. And, and because of these flaws in my life pertaining to marriage, God is using me to help you get yours right. Praise God, as I'm working on getting this new one uh, to be two years, uh, June of this year. So this one is going to be one that, that God gets the glory and he gets all the praise out of this marriage because we commend it into his hands. So I have a wonderful, wonderful rest of this Sunday. Be safe, be blessed, know that Jesus loves you, and know that Mama Pam loves you too. Bye-bye.